Last week, an issue arose between Terence Baines, the Secretary for the Division of Community Development, Youth Development and Sport, and the Minister of Sport and Community Development and MP for Tobago West, Shamfa Kuju Lewis, regarding the use of the Black Rock Community Center. Speaking about the situation at Sunday's PNM public meeting, Minister Kuju Lewis said Secretary Terence Baines had some nerve to tell her who to help and who not to assist when it came to utilizing the Black Rock Community Center for her ministry's vocational skills training program. Never build a community center but trying to take away keys from people who own the land that their community center was on. Black Rock Community was Black Rock Village Council was in existence in 1963 when Dr. Williams was doing the Meet the People tour. He met it there. Minister Kujo Lewis stated that the people of Black Rock and the village council built their community center, which she said was then expanded and refurbished in 1995. But he who don't know and full up an ego decided to go this way. But he put in down he foot and he taking away key, taking away key to what you're not build nothing. She noted that the majority of the community centers on the island were either built by village councils or by the PNM. Pastor Beans cannot tell you, cannot tell me for sure who to give support to. If a group reaches out to me for support for a handicraft tutor, why would I say no? If I have the resources and the ability and the budget to provide that assistance to a community group. I will do so. Meanwhile, the Innovative Democratic Alliance, IDA, issued a release chastising the THA for going against community empowerment. The IDA said the Black Rock Village Council's dispute with the Secretary of Community Development, Youth Development and Sport, having escalated to threats of withdrawing access to community centers, portrays an attempt to centralize control as opposed to empowering local government. The IDA called upon the THA to realign its actions with their declaration of empowering communities.